Minds filled creatively, moving forward constantly. Motivate, facilitate, collaborate. Made Fresh Collective. I don't know, Made Fresh is like a lot of things. It's a lifestyle. It's a bunch of crazy rowdy kids just having a good time. It's a bunch of artists, it's a bunch of skateboarders, it's a bunch of vandals, it's a bunch of kids trying to find themselves. And uh, it's, it's more of like a movement. My, my dad's an artist, so I grew up in a creative household where art and being creative was always really encouraged. And I think high school was another spot where I got more into art because I didn't I would doodle during class and so that's when I think I started to decide that I really like doing art that's when I started screen printing doing graffiti actually I started doing graffiti first and then I got caught a few times graffiti oh I love I love it I think I think originally maybe was that it wasn't it was it was against the rules there's something really appealing about things that you're not supposed to do now I don't do it because it's I don't I don't I don't want to have to deal with that. The law is a waste of your time. You can't you don't want to get wrapped up in it. So I still like to paint big things and murals and whatnot, but not not illegally. Ceramics has taken the place of my urge to tag and and leave my mark because ceramics is like my is like my new form of graffiti. Only it's it's much more permanent. Graffiti is like the youth art. It's the art of the youth and young people. And I think it's really important to catch that and capture that time on the ceramics. That's my, that's my duty as a ceramicist on this planet. And then maybe someday somebody will dig it up. For me, it started out <clears throat> when I was about 19 and my dad died. And uh, I went to art therapy and that's when I really got into it and it helped me because it was like art therapy for kids for mourning or whatever. It's really important for for me at the time because I was just depressed and losing it and unhappy and creating things made me happy. Yeah, the monkey came out of um, a combination of growing up loving monkeys, always just thinking they're fascinating, and then also um, it came. It just really came down to having these little trinkets from all over the world um, that my dad always had and they were these see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil monkeys and the concept is to not let those evils come over you, don't speak it, don't see, let it affect you and when I felt those hard feelings of those really deep painful sad feelings I wanted to create these little monkeys to surround me and protect me it's like a comfort kind of it's like comfort food from for my soul it's just it's for my eyes to feast on the grassroots of mfc all start with awake awake lifestyle and that was me and ben ferris and i kind of jumped on ben's bandwagon and was like well this kid's definitely going somewhere because he's amazing and i want to do anything i can to help him I was always telling Ben and Taylor, or mostly Ben at the time, yo man, like, you gotta screen print your own shirts, like, this is so fun, like, I'll show you how to do it, you, you see me do it all the time, like, let's do this. You know, he had all these paintings with these animals on them, and I kept on telling him, dude, you gotta, you gotta get this, the animals, like, you can get that onto a screen, I know it. And so, once that happened, then it just went then it just went crazy. Once we had the four color press, we just started going off five screens and we we're just printing t-shirts and on a table, really limited. We only had like a couple designs. Once the studio was built, it just opened up this whole new realm because we had this space to come hang out. That's just what happened. It was just a bunch of guys, a bunch of best friends sitting together having a good time and just printing like crazy when you're when you're like an artist and creative and like doing your thing it's really easy to get holed up and like become a hermit and it's cool when you have a place like Taylor's studio and the means and the group 
to have like w- like a big kind of creative melting pot. It's it's driving, you know. You see your buddy bust out a new design and print 50 t-shirts in turn it it like motivates you to be like oh yeah well i gotta get on it too it's like a tribe of of close you know binded people who want to support and help that person and see them succeed our mission statement is to um, create in kids self-efficacy. It's the idea that once you succeed, you'll keep succeeding because you have that feeling of, oh, I've done something good and I can keep doing things. So it's self-confidence, self-efficacy. We hope to support students in a more holistic way. So we're trying to um, create a space in a community where they can explore themselves creatively and learn about uh, things that they may be passionate about that they hadn't thought about before. The non-traditional tactics that Made Fresh especially promotes is something that's really important to me because I I love art in general. I love all kinds of art, but like a 15-year-old doesn't necessarily respond in the same way to classical art. So the fact that they can relate to airbrushing, it's a lot more urban, it's a lot more youthful. They're able to kind of express themselves and consider something to be art that they might not consider have considered to be art before. Make stencils and yeah. paint my clothes. I don't even know. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> yeah, she's into like those little like intricate drawings. I'm into like big picture, like you know. That we can provide classes to teach kids, just to have fun and just to cr- explore and create and you know use your your head and move forward constantly. That's really what helped kind of opened the door to like getting the kids respect you know that's what it came down to it was like once they respected us and they saw that we were really having a good time with them and trying to show them like just to, to, to make t-shirts and make prints for themselves you know and they could do this at home if they wanted and that this is this is not a bad thing you know like yeah like don't go tag on stuff don't go like tag on people's shit like you don't go be a vandal that's not cool Go draw in your sketchbook and get really good and practice. You know, go paint in your room on a canvas and make it look as best, as cool as you can, you know. That's that's where you're going to gain something. I want to have a space, a, a huge space, where, you know, we you have your silk screening shop, you have your ceramic studio, you have your glass blowing studio. You have a painting room, you know, you have a dark room for photographers, you have a skate park for skateboarders, you have a coffee shop, an education center for kids to learn all these trades, um, you have your art therapy. It's more of like a, a vehicle for, for kids to succeed and have a good time and network with those same like conscious minded people. It's kind of like my dream, you know, my dream. Utopia is, is like a place where everyone's had a, a good time and we can all cr- be, feel free to create and do what we want and have an awesome time doing it together as one, collaborating with each other, finding, learning all these different tools and keys and getting to create something that you never could have imagined.
And it's hilarious the way we let out aesthetics and merits. So carelessly prepare to compare yourself to America. Fair enough. It's American beauty that keeps staring up that feeling in your stomach and ceiling. You can embarrass fun. This nation of distracted reactionary explorers put hooks in the mouths of the rest of us to raise the corners. And so much effort on the part of our employers. But happiness doesn't come with flags, freedom, or borders. It's not an abstraction of literary theory. It's seemingly haphazard. It's bitter and yet endearing. It's succeeding. When others out of fear said you would fail, it's getting off scot free. Volunteering for jail if doing the right thing is only a selfish act. You put good into this world, good feelings will hit you back. Shit, laugh at yourself when nobody is around. Not to shelter your embarrassment, but prove that you are proud. Pride is only a sin if it's holier than thou. How art thy nature if the tree don't make a sound? Down to the last drop, we think that it's our age. Are we really given happiness or simply entertained? Words written in cursive like letters into our friends. We see the seed of sadness and happiness makes amends. Lend settled direction, it's a charity to them. Bend down, may I have another given all the trends? Pack it up and then present it as zen And then pretend like we didn't do this shit for 